let's look into what is called as decibels or db scale or db scale so the reason why we have db scale in contrary to what is called as a linear scale is that the dynamic range the dynamic range of the physical quantities that we are looking at in rf engineering such as power current or voltages can be of an order of magnitude different for example if there is a transmitter it could be transmitting let's say 5 megawatts of power that is equivalent to 5 into 10 to the power 6 watts and that's pretty high power and there could be a receiver that is receiving a very weak signal which could be let's say for example 6 picowatts and that is in the order of 6 into 10 to the power minus 12 watts that's such a low power so instead of this being a linear scale instead of having to write it in terms of 10 power 6 or 10 power minus 12 a better representation for such dynamic wide range is to use what is called as the db scale so let's see what this decibel scale is all about decibels in general is a ratio ratio of two quantities it's a ratio of two quantities to introduce that let's take a look at this example here where you're having a certain pa standing for a power amplifier it has a certain input power p in and has a certain output power p out then the gain of the amplifier simply we can call that as the power gain is going to be the output power over the input power let's say if the amplifier gains uh, is the ratio of the output power over the input power is the gain and this being having the dimensions of watts and this being having the dimensions of watt ap the gain itself is going to be a dimensionless quantity so that the output power is going to be the gain times the input power so that is being maintained for such a uh, that is being defined for such a power amplifier setup now this gain can be a very large number it can be a factor of thousand a ten thousand and so on so with such large amounts of gain it's better to represent the gain in db scale and this being linear gain the db gain is going to be specified as in db the gain is going to be specified as the same ap in db scale is going to be defined as 10 log to the base 10 of the output over the input so it's the same linear ratio but you take 10 log 10 of it and you get the power in db scale so so to summarize uh, the gain of this amplifier here can uh, simply be given in linear terms as p out over p in and this is the gain in linear yeah this is the linear gain and the same gain can be defined in db as 10 times log 10 of p out over p in and that is the same gain in db which is uh, in decibel which is in decibels but now we also know that power is proportional to the voltage square which is uh, when you're connecting the output to a resistor r this is the kind of power that is delivered to this resistance r not the load that is being connected to this power amplifier so in general power is proportional to the voltage square thus the ratio of the output power over the input power is going to be the same as uh, v out squared over v in squared so based on this fact if we were to substitute this back into here the 10 log 10 of v out over v in the whole squared and we know that for logarithms uh, log of x to the power y is going to be y times log of x so based on that we see that this is going to be 2 times 2 times 10 into 10 log 10 of v out over v in this being the voltage gain so that's the same ap in db is going to be 20 log 
10 of the ratio of the voltages the output voltage to the input voltage and that is the voltage gain in db so if we were to get the power gain in db we need to use 10 log 10 like what is shown here and if it is the voltage gain v out over v in which must be 20 log 10 which is shown here